Hey guys, so behind me we have the 2017 Volvo XC90 T8 R design. The T8 is the hybrid version of the XC90 actually, but it's also the version with the most horsepower. And that makes it a very interesting car. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys and talk about why this is such a special vehicle. Before I get started though, I just can't get away from this terrible Norwegian rainy summer weather. It's terrible for vlogging and terrible for YouTubing, so I do apologize that. In the center console, we have Volvo's new ignition switch, which is very interesting. Turn it to the right to start, turn it to the left to stop. So, foot on the brake, turn it to the right, and we're now started. And I know that because, as you can see, it says ready in green, so we're now ready to go. Down here you can see that I actually don't have any battery left. Unfortunately, Volvo supplied me this vehicle without the charge cable. Here we have Volvo's new electronic shifter for the T8 hybrid models only. It's really cool. It's made out of crystal from Ödefoss in Sweden and it actually lights up at night. So double tap it backwards to go to drive. Now in drive you can see there's a blue indicator here on the tack, or what I call a tack, or what the tack would be. And that indicates my battery power. So there's a little battery juice here. If I just give it the gas here, you can hear that we're off on only electricity. And as long as I stay in that blue area, we're moving forward on EV only. Take to the right here, get on a better road. I'll give it a gas. And there you can barely hear it, but the gas engine fired up. It now stopped because we went down to the blue again. Take a right here. Give it a little gas. And only when you rev it out a bit, you can actually hear that it's a gas engine. The transition is very smooth, very seamless. And running around in EV mode only, and this car makes it feel really luxurious. Just cruising around in the city and this is the place where this car makes a lot of sense because even though I don't have a charged battery there's still some juice in the system and when I'm driving here 40 kilometers an hour below 40 kilometers an hour I'm just cruising in pure electric only and the car is so quiet so comfortable so smooth there are no vibrations no sounds no nothing just pulling up to a stop here to a red light just coasting and it's pure silence and when we stop here now the only thing you can hear is the faint sound of the fan and you can barely hear that so it's really comfortable it's it just EV takes luxury to the next level and if you've not driven a hybrid that you can drive in pure EV or an electric car you don't know what I'm talking about yes diesel engines can be smooth and so can gasoline engines but even though how smooth they are they're never as smooth as not being there like in an electric car being an electric hybrid does not make this car special in any shape or form. They've been making them for decades and there are a ton of them out there on the market today. So what makes this car special? Well, up front we have a gasoline powered engine which is both turbocharged and supercharged producing 320 horsepower. Out rear, an electric motor which makes 87 horsepower giving this car four wheel drive but in the middle we have no drive shaft so there's no mechanical connection instead we have a battery pack and that's quite special combined we have 407 horsepower and that is a lot of horsepower 0 to 60 comes up in 5 point zero seconds and that's quick by any standard on the market today there are only a handful of SUVs that can out accelerate this car and that for being a 2.3 ton SUV is quite special having the battery pack in the transmission tunnel is quite smart if you ask me because that means you can have the weight down low and you really feel it. This is a heavy car, 2.3 tons, but it actually feels more planted because of a lower center of gravity and it feels more solid 
on the road than other types of XC90s amongst my diesel powered XC90. This just feels better set up or put together. I, I don't know how to explain it but it's most definitely because of the lower center of gravity meaning the weight is lower down and the car just feels more controlled. Let's see if we can get a gap on the car in front of us just to show you guys the brutal acceleration here. So you have torque fill from the electric motor and you have the gas engine with 320 horsepower and there we go. And it just picks up speed. It's so stupid, it's so dumb how quick this car is. It's amazing, it's almost like an electric Tesla when mashing the throttle because the shove from the turbocharged and supercharged engine along with the torque from that electric motor and let's go again and you just reach illegal speeds stupidly fast and this car <coughs> I apologize this car weighs 2.3 tons and it shouldn't be able to move like this the last thing I drove that moved like this and was this big was an X6M with 560 horsepower. This is just stupid how quick this car is. This car's merits individually on its own doesn't make it special. Well, the gas engine, turbocharged and supercharged, that's quite special, but we have turbocharged engines, we have supercharged engines, we have cars with electric engines, and we have hybrids, but it's combined this huge seven seat, five meter long, 2.3 ton luxury SUV that just gets out of its way stupidly fast, is super refined. Yes, it does have a four cylinder engine, does make four cylinder noises, but most of the driving, you don't care because it just moves and gets out of its way so quickly. And in my opinion, that makes this car really special because it's the combination. It's a different approach to luxury and power and performance and I do like it a lot. So guys, that was just my short video about what the T8 is, how it works and why it's a special car. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and for more car content, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.